Broncos. Welcome to another episode of ASI on the Fly. Today, we're highlighting some of the important things we accomplished last semester and sharing with you a few of our goals for the rest of the year. We started fall semester off strong with the launch of the new Bronco Associated Student Experience BASE program. BASE allows students the opportunity to still be involved with student government and gain hands-on experience, even if they don't hold a formal position. So far, the BASE program has been a tremendous success, and we look forward to increasing the retention of fall participants and assessing the first year once spring semester comes to a close. Speaking of gaining experience with student government, here's your elections chair, Mara Cruz Santander, with all the info of the upcoming ASI elections. Yep, that's right. It's your time to participate in the upcoming student government elections. If you want to represent your college or sit at one of the at-large councils, make sure to submit your application by February 27th at 5 p.m. Voting will be from April 15th through the 18th online via MyBar, so don't forget to voice your vote. All of this information and more can be found by visiting the ASI elections webpage at asi.cpp.edu slash elections. Thanks to your civic engagement, we were able to see hundreds of students at our on-campus polls during midterm elections. The creation of the voter handbook was another big accomplishment and it was filled with voter rules and regulations and information about each proposition and a highlight on how to vote at Cal Poly Pomona. This semester, we're creating an easy to follow flowchart on how bills turn into laws and then launching the very first ASI student government podcast, The Bronco Bander. This semester, we're also traveling to our state and national capital to lobby on your behalf. So we're hoping that you come out and email us about some issues that you see on this campus. We've also made tremendous progress on our permanent food pantry and hope to see it grow during spring semester. Pepsi generously donated a brand new refrigerator and the Chancellor's Office put out a system-wide campaign for receiving gifts through an Amazon wish list. We also had an amazing turnout for our first ever Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. Another goal we achieved last year was connecting ASI student government cabinet members with President Coley's cabinet members. Student leaders on cabinet were able to successfully collaborate, plan, and execute various programs with the university administration. It was a huge mentorship opportunity and we hope to continue this partnership for the next set of student leaders. Here at Student Government, we don't just care about civic engagement on our campus. We also care about connecting with the surrounding communities that many students, staff, and faculty live and thrive in. Because of this, we attended local city council meetings, connected with locals, and shared the Cal Poly Pomona experience. Our governmental affairs team was even able to bring the mayor of Pomona, Tim Sandoval, and Senator Connie Leva on campus to speak and engage with students. Mayor Sandoval also helped us celebrate National Voter Registration Day, where we checked voter status, registered the community to vote, and invited the Poly Sci Club and the Feminist Majority Foundation to table at the BSC, Building 35. It was the first time we celebrated this nationally recognized day on campus, and we plan on making it even bigger this year on September 24th. If you're a part of a club or organization, look out for information regarding club budget workshops. At these workshops, we will give you tips and helpful information that you'll need in order for your club to submit its budget request for funding for the 2019-2020 school year. Don't forget to follow us on social media at ASICPP to keep up with everything we just shared and more all year long. Thanks for watching ASI on the Fly. We'll, we'll see, see you next time, Broncos. Broncos.